Hi, I'm Jackie Shopes. And I'm Danielle Stanner. And this is Challenge Accept. Take a look at this beautiful truck. It is nice and yellow, but we are here at Bella Terra Vineyards in Mount Pleasant. Yes, it's so great to have this venue right, right here in our backyard that offers so much for our community. All kinds of things. So we're actually gonna go in and we're gonna talk to Heather, who is the general manager here, and she's gonna give us some tidbits on what all they have to offer and how to taste wine. She told me there's a challenge involved, but we don't know what it is. I don't know, I'm excited to see. Are you right. ready to go? I am, let's go ahead in. All right, so we're here with Heather from Bella Terra Vineyards, and she's the general manager here. So you're gonna tell us just a little bit about what Bella Terra Vineyards is and what all you have to offer. Sure, well thanks for coming today. Absolutely. Uh, so our beautiful building here, um, right outside of Mount Pleasant is three years. Uh, it'll be three years in May, okay. actually. Uh, the business has been open for six. So the husband and wife, who were the founders, uh, started it in a garage, uh, actually on property, and they just wanted to make wine for fun and eventually wanted to have a place where you could have a wedding or a venue and only make wine to supply those okay. um, events. Well, that drastically changed, as you as can, you can see. see. As it's you can see, it's beautiful in here. Right. Yes. <laughs> so we have this beautiful facility that offers indoor and outdoor seating, which is very important right now right. Um, with the state that we're in. And we offer entertainment from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we're at five days a week with some sort of entertainment. Ooh, nice. Yes. Uh, we have a staff of roughly 30 people. Mm -hmm. um, we range from uh, two winemakers at two different locations um, and then several bar staff okay. that we have here. Um, and we have on-site food as well. Uh, we just opened the bistro last May. So okay. whenever you come here, you can have lunch and dinner. Yeah, Food's important when you're drinking wine. <laughs> yes, sure. and it's all about what food you're drinking and what with what you're drinking. Oh, so, so like so properly pairing yes. or, oh, to bring okay. out the flavors of the wine. Ah, Correct. So yes. Right. I bet their menu is all set up for that. Probably. Yes. Like, very intentional menu <laughs> choices, right? <laughs> yes. All it right. changes seasonally. So um, as, as well as people's taste buds when it comes to drinking. So uh, what you drink in the summer might not necessarily be what you enjoy in the winter time. Oh, I did not oh. know that. That's interesting mm -hmm. yes so we're in winter right now it's cold uh you want to be cozy uh like we are right now yeah. uh and you want I like it here <laughs> yes <laughs> right <laughs> do, do we have a little a blanket and right. a glass of wine yeah exactly That'd be nice yes so if i were sitting at home on the couch and i had the fire going and it was snowing outside um my mind wants to to go to a, a, a dry wine okay. red it warms you up um, versus drinking something heavy in the summertime, most people like a chilled wine, um, something that is light and fruity and just makes you think that you're outside at the beach. So makes yes. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can we think that we're outside the beach right now? Like I, I don't mind it cold, but I'm like done with it already. And I know I, we started winter not yeah. too long ago, but I'm, I'm ready for this. We still have a ways to go. But, but if so. I would drink a wine that would make me think I'm yes. at the beach, that would be good. Yes. Maybe we should try that later on. <laughs> so you mentioned that you have two locations. Mm -hmm. So your location that we're currently at is the one that's near Mount Pleasant. Yes. And where's your other location? It is in Bedford County. It's in downtown Bedford. Okay. So if you've heard of Omni, um, like the Springs mm -hmm. okay. in Bedford, mm -hmm. uh, we sit roughly 10 minutes from there. So very okay, close nice. to the resort, right in downtown. Beautiful spot, reminds me a lot of uh, the shops in Mount Pleasant where you walk around, okay. very old school charm. Um, so it ties into uh, our feel there too. Mm -hmm. And it's so nice to have this close to Mount Pleasant because um, Bella, you service a lot of the different restaurants, the different events that we do, not only in Mount Pleasant, but also in the business district. Absolutely, right? yes. So a lot of our wines, if you would eat at Grill 31 mm -hmm. uh, or The Village, or say you're picking up something at Mayor Condi's, you can find our products in any of those locations. Um, and we love working with uh, the team in Mount Pleasant. Um, we've been there with the Glass Festival, we've attended okay. farmer's markets, uh, and we really enjoy it because it gets people to know who we are, right. and everyone is so nice. And it was really great. We were having dinner at the filling station the other night, and one of your uh, staff members came in with a box, so it's pretty popular. I know that mm -hmm. when I go, it's my, my choice that I like to get, so I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're yeah. learning all about Bellaterra. This is exciting. Um, how many 
different kinds of wines do you have to offer? Oh, that's a good question. So we have roughly, I would say at least 20 to 25. Okay. Um, now we offer seasonal wines okay. uh, that change with the season. So we talked about winter uh, and Christmas and all of those mm -hmm. things. Now we have a wine that is Christmas in a bottle. It's a spiced wine. Oh. It can be heated up. It can be served chilled. It's delicious. Ooh. And then we also have a summer wine. Our summer sangria only comes out in the summertime. Okay. Um, and we have canned wine. I don't know if you've ever heard of canned Ooh, wine before. Oh. I'm going to go with it's in a can. <laughs> you think? I used my deductive reasoning. The first clue. <laughs> and, it, and I'm going to say it's in a can. We're going to yes. have to come back in the summer and reshoot a summer right. video. Yes. Man. Canned wine, all the rage because it's so versatile. You ah. take it uh, kayaking, you can take it on the boat, you can take it to a concert, you have no glass, you don't have to worry about a corkscrew, yes. you just pop the top and enjoy. Put it in a backpack. Exactly. Or a fanny pack. <laughs> fanny pack. I like fanny Immerse. Pack. Yes, they'll all fit. You, this is so, you are right, this is so versatile. Belaterra like. is awesome. I bet you could even put it, open it up, and maybe put it in a camelback and just Probably. Absolutely. I'm sure someone has thought about that at some point and tried it. If they haven't, they definitely will now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I know wine goes from dry to sweet, mm -hmm. but there's a lot in between. What's the in-betweens and how yeah. do you know like when to drink what with what and how? Absolutely. So those are all good questions. Um, and that's something uh, that we try to um, educate or give extra knowledge uh, okay. when you do a wine tasting here at our at our tasting bar. So our wine attendants will go through our wine list. Um, you'll pick five of your favorites uh, okay. and we'll try all of them. So you work dry to sweet. Okay. And then the in-betweens are generally semi-sweets um, and you work your way through whites and reds okay. the whole way through. Um, and that's a little bit of what you'll get whenever you do a wine tasting here. Um, at our Mount Pleasant location. Um, it's really fun and it's meant to be not intimidating. Okay. A lot of people, when they think of a wine tasting, are very intimidated. I don't know what to do. I don't know the proper way <laughs> to me. sniff, <laughs> smell, taste, yeah. any of those things. Uh, but we're here to educate and make okay. it fun. Like, there's no reason to to come here and uh, not have fun. Okay. Really. And that's there's what a certain we... way, too, to hold a glass and the mm -hmm. hole with the pinky up. Oh. <laughs> I mean, and do you, you swirl sometimes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There's, so. there's a couple S's involved, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. Swirl. Swirl starts with an S. Yes. Okay. Sip. Yes. Oh, sip. Mm -hmm. Gulp? No. That, that's, that's not, not that's an S. one. That's not one. <laughs> so, so what are these S's involved in wine tasting? So we'll go over. I'm actually going to show you both this today. So you came on a good day. See. Uh, this is Exciting. one of the perks for working at a winery. You get to taste it's yeah. quality control. Yeah. So oh, you have to make like sure that. everything is good. Okay. Uh, okay. So we'll go through a couple of those and I'll just mention a few things that we do okay. here. Um, and then you, when you go out with your friends and you come back here, oh, this is, this is what we're getting into. This is what they're going to tell us. So it's, 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 so it's like, we're going to know what we're right. talking about. We're going to be in the know. We're going to be the pros. When exactly. we're they're they're going to be like, I need you to come with us every time we go to Bellaterra Vineyards. All right. Exactly. All right. Well, I know you have a challenge for us and I know we have to learn a little bit about wine before we can do the challenge. Is that correct? Yes. So we are going to move over to where our challenge is, which is the wine tasting area, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Cool. So are you ready for this challenge of, of whatever it is? She'll tell us when we get there, but I know it's going to involve wine and glasses and our pinkies out. <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. All right. Let's do this. All right. And I'm going to skip it. <laughs> Wait a minute, I better take another step. At Armstrong, our employees take great pride in supporting the community. Here is a historic landmark that makes our hometown special. The Connellsville Canteen is Southwestern PA's only World War II museum and home to Harry Clark's Indian Creek Valley Railroad display. Visitors can feel America's greatness through the history, stories, and memorabilia of Fayette County in the 1930s and 40s. Brought to you by the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Catch all your favorite local programming on Channel 100 or on YouTube. So we have migrated to this table where our challenge is going to take place. Yes. And as we said, we need to learn a little bit about wine mm -hmm. and how to properly taste before we do the challenge. 
So I have a glass. Yes. So I know this is like the first step <laughs> for wine tasting. Yes, you are on the right track. All right, all right. All right. What happens after <clears throat> I have my glass? Well, first we need to put something in it. Okay. But before we get to that okay. part, so when you're holding a glass, okay, um, shouldn't turn it this way. No, definitely okay. don't turn it not upside like down. This. No, no, no. Okay. So we're gonna want to hold it by the stem. Okay. The mm -hmm. reason being, your hands, your your body temperature makes everything feel warm. So if you're drinking a cold glass of wine, yeah. you're holding it up here, it's not gonna stay cold very long. What if I wanted to put ice in it? That is okay. Okay. You can. It's not like a huge no-no, it's just like, no. Nah. It's, not, it's not a huge no-no. Okay. It's not gonna do anything to the wine. Okay. Um, I would suggest maybe an ice bucket. Okay. Instead of ice cubes. Okay. So that would the be something. The ice cubes could potentially dilute the yes. wine, right? Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to hold it like this. <clears throat> My guess is the ice cubes aren't going to stay very long in your glass because the wine's going to be gone anyway. That's so. true. <laughs> so am I, like, I got my pinky out. You don't have to, but you oh. can just to be classy. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm classy right now. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm holding it? Yes. Now what? So once we have the wine in, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to do this as we go through, um, most people will want to swirl just so you aerate the wine. Ah. And you can smell the wine before you taste okay. it. It helps pick up note like the notes of the wine. Okay. Proper wine tasting. Not proper, but if you want to be really fancy okay. and show your friends yes. like this is what I know. <laughs> when you swirl and you smell, start from and work oh. your way back to your body. So start outwards oh. and work your way closer because you'll pick up different things. Oh, yes. Okay. So it's like front to back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. But just don't spill the wine down your shirt. <laughs> no. Just don't, don't try to smell like this. No. Or anything. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So, so, so we're at swirl. swirl. We're at sniff. 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 And lick. Lick. You no. can. No. no. Okay. That, okay. That would, <laughs> don't lick. Don't lick. No. So then we're going to want to taste. That okay. doesn't start with an S, but I mean, that's the only way you're going to. You can say taste. 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 Yes. Okay. Taste. <laughs> swirl, smell, and taste. Or yes. Sip. Sip. Or gulp. Okay. Gulp. Sip. Not gulp. Sip. 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 So you're going to take one sip, just a little one. Let the flavors go okay. on your tongue. You like go like um, mouthwash? Not really so okay. much like mouthwash. Okay. Just let just let the notes sit on your tongue for a little bit. Okay. Then you can swallow. Okay. Then take another sip because what you taste the first time might not be the same flavors oh. that you taste the second time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like multiple flavors in one. Swirl. Yes. Okay. Sniff. Mm-hmm. Sip, sip, sip. sip. The whole time my pinky was out, I just want to let you know. I haven't put it away yet. It's starting to cramp, <laughs> but I just refuse to put it away because I'm trying to be fancy. I like where your head's at. Thank you. Thank so, you. what we're going to do for your challenge, oh. if you are both up to it. I am I think, ready. I think I'm up. I'm All right. Ready. So, we're going to taste some wines that we have here. Okay. And what I want you to tell me is any notes that you pick up on when you taste the wine. Not to be confused with music notes. Like, these no. are wine notes. Yes, thank you for that clarification. <laughs> You're welcome. You're that welcome. was very good. I like that. And that's going to be a new hashtag. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. All right. And we're going to work our way from dry to sweet. Okay. Okay. And then you'll notice we're going to do whites, and then work our so our way to reds. So anytime right. you're doing a wine tasting or anything, um, you always want to work white to red, um, and then. Depending on your food, what you have in front of you, you might want to pair your wine with that too. Once you figure out what wine you like after you're tasting here, you order your food from the bistro, uh, you might want to just be cautious of what you're eating and what wine you want to have with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I did see on your menu, you had like a prime rib, Philly cheesesteak esque yes. thing. What yes. would I drink with that? Okay, so I would probably recommend something towards um, the dry reds because okay. it is a meaty flavor mm -hmm. and you want something <clears throat> bold like a dry red. Okay. If you are going to have spicy food, you'll want something on the whiter side. Um, so a Chardonnay, a Pinot Grigio, something that um, kind of cools your mouth down. Ah. Mm -hmm. So right. I've always heard on the lighter, lighter you take white. So if I would have a salad, mm -hmm. you choose a white wine. Is that drier or sweet or is it dependent upon? It can be, it can be either or. Okay. Um, most people might not like dry ones, but if you pair it with the right food, you'd be surprised uh -huh. that it, how much you do enjoy it. 
Okay. So that's also something to be cautious of. I'm getting of. hungry now. <laughs> I know. I'm like, my mouth is like starting to water. I, I know. Getting a little I, I'm Why? smelling all the aromas from the kitchen. Yeah. It's, Yes, everything is uh, is very delicious. good. It's very hard to work to work yeah. here and not. Oh, I kidding. bet. <laughs> I bet. All right, so we're gonna start with our first one. Okay. Okay. Is there a special way to pour wine? Um, Are you gonna like keep your glass sideways and that sideways, or does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. Okay. If we're pouring a beer, obviously you would want to hold the glass at an angle because you want the head on it, right? Correct. Okay. Yes, this is completely different, and I'm just gonna give you enough for a little okay. taste. So. Um, I would recommend not gulping the first okay, one. Okay, do not gulp. So we're gonna swirl. So we're right? gonna swirl. Now I see a lot of people doing this. Is this for clarity to make sure? Oh, I think sure I know what. Do you know? Something about tandems, tenums, tyrannums, pteranodons? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> right? Tannins. Yes! Tannins. Good job. And there's absolute, I mean, this is crystal clear. It this is. This is beautiful. It is. So, it's a beautiful color. Okay. It's very golden. Yeah. So I'm starting. Mm -hmm. Front to back, I'm starting to get some aromas. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to sip it. <laughs> mm. Wait a minute, I better take another sip. <laughs> oh yeah, I can definitely taste some things. Jackie, let's see if right. you can taste what I'm tasting. Mm. But you said you can taste some things, so that's not, that's like very vague. So are you waiting for me to? I am. Okay. All right. Let's Can't give see it away. what you come up with. I think it's going to taste like wine. I'm going to go with that to begin with. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I taste some things as well. Um, I, I think many things. It's, <laughs> many it, things. I don't know. It feels a little spicy to me. Should it? Do you spice? I'm tasting spicy? some butter in there. Do we have That's some what the spice butter? is. It's butter. Butter. Mm -hmm. This is a Chardonnay, so it's it's very it's very easy going down. How do how but does one butter. like when you're done? You go. You or can. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. I didn't know if I was supposed to make certain movements mm. with my mouth to be yeah. able. To I usually just let on my tongue. Go like that. Okay. Get all the flavors. Now, I did watch this episode of another show one time and when they sipped it they kind of tilted their head mm. back and let the air in but i'm i don't know how practical that that's is that's very tricky th that it's is quite tricky. I, mean, I just tried it <laughs> yes because you don't you don't want to take too much air in because you'll i, I don't i wouldn't want to choke right know? yeah especially when you're drinking it because then you <laughs> no. cough all over the place yeah. correct so so just letting it lay on your palate mm -hmm. and just and like, then why just do you still have wine left in yours <laughs> I'm, I mean, so on. What I'm happened? savoring. <laughs> so this is a very nice flavor, a very buttery flavor. Yes. Very good. And this is, what wine is this again? This is our Chardonnay. This is your Chardonnay. Very so good. Chardonnays can either be buttery or oaky. Okay. Uh, this one tends to go on the buttery side, and that's both of what you picked up whenever right. you taste it. It's very light. It's, Correct. It's very nice to my palate. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Yes. That was a good one. So we, we did we... Uh, do well on this challenge, yes. this portion of the challenge. Yes. Right. Yes. Good we have yes. an A so far. Yes. <laughs> You're working your way to pro wine tasters. Yes. Do we get All the right. star? Yes. All right. <laughs> so what is our next wine? So the next wine that we're going to try is a dry red. Okay. Um, and I guess I should have asked you what you both prefer if you have a preference towards wine. Ooh. Ooh. I actually prefer dry wines. Okay. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of sweet wines. Not that I won't drink them, but I just prefer the drier mm -hmm. aspect of wines. And we have we offer all varieties here, both yeah. dry and sweet. Um, so what we're going to taste now is most popular dry red. Um, whenever you go to a restaurant, most people will ask for a Cabernet. Okay. Um, it is a very well-known cab um, all over. All over the world, um, everyone has tried a Cabernet in their lifetime, I'm right. sure. Um, so this is our house Cabernet. Okay. All right, Jackie, why don't you take I this will try. first? I'm going to swirl. Mm-hmm. Not to be confused with shake. I'm not going to shake. I'm going to swirl. Ooh, and then I'm going to sniff or smell. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh, mm -hmm. I like that. Ooh. Mm, I good. think that we need another sip. Yeah, go for it. 
Mm. What are you tasting? Now I taste a little bit of a spicy in that one. Mm. I taste grapes. You're good. You're good. That palate. Woo! It's so educated. <laughs> yes. That wine and grapes. I know, mm. right? <laughs> I'm turning into a pro here. <laughs> Connoisseur. Yes. Wine. Yes. So this is very nice. Mm -hmm. Very smooth, very nice. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, some reds are so, they kind of taste bitter, but this doesn't taste bitter. No. I do taste this a little is spicy. Good. Is it supposed to taste spicy? Everyone, is, everyone's palates are different. Mm -hmm. um, so this cab grape came from um, the state of Washington. Oh. So everything is brought in as whole grapes to us, and then okay. we make the wine here. By smushing them with your feet. Kind of, but with a very big machine. <laughs> Without your feet. Without your feet. <laughs> but I like where your head's Thank at. You. Grape stomping, yes. Yes. Yes, one day we'll have that. That's All a right. whole nother episode. Yes. <laughs> yes, you'll be the first that we call. Thank you. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Yes, and this cab uh, is actually in one of the barrels behind us. So the barrel wall that we're standing in front is full of wine. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. So all these have wines in them. Mm -hmm. Yes. And wines are supposed to be in, in wood barrel thingies. Yes. Right. Wood barrel thingies, yes. Wood barrel thingies. Yes. These are just called wine barrels, right? Yes. Wine right. barrels. Um, these ones are all actually a mix of French and American oak. Oh. Um, there's different oaks uh, okay. that you can have that pick up different flavors. So the Chardonnay, uh, we also have another estate Chardonnay that has been in a barrel that okay. tastes completely different than the Chardonnay that we tried here. So we have two uh, two Chardonnays, one for someone that likes buttery and one that someone likes oaky. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, impressive. Yes. So do you have like, like on this wall, uh -huh. do you have newer barrels compared mm -hmm. to like older barrels and that yes. ages the wine appropriately? Correct. Yes. So we have a mix of um, all kinds and actually all vintages of wine up here and okay. how long they've been in the barrels. Average barrel time is anywhere for us between 12 and 20 months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you reuse cool. barrels? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's not like, like the wine doesn't stay in there forever, nope. but you can reuse mm -hmm. them in. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. It's called seasoning them. You want to season them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. a casserole and skillet. Kind of. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. well, that is interesting. I thought it, honestly, I thought this was just a decorative. At one point it was before we had, but, but this is, but now this is the real one. deal. There's purposeful. Yes. 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 There's product Correct. in here All that right. Correct. it's aging. Uh huh. Nice. Very neat. Absolutely. Nice. So this was very good. Mm -hmm. This was mm -hmm. a cab, right? Cabernet. Cabernet. Yes. And is it okay to say cab or should you, if you're trying to be professional as we are, should we say Cabernet? Uh, it doesn't matter. A lot of people shorten cab, Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon oh, is oh. the full name. Cabernet Sauvignon. Correct. So Yes. All right. What is our next wine that we get to examine? All right, so examine? we're going to switch to a white wine. Mm. So let's... Oh, got to drink it all out. <laughs> In retrospect, we would have washed these glasses <laughs> out and given you new ones, yeah. but we don't have those facilities right now here. <laughs> all right. So, and it would not look pink. And this so, is a sweeter white. Yes, this okay. is a sweeter white. Um, this wine that we're going to taste is called Diamond Rio. Huh? Mm -hmm. Isn't that a band? Ooh, is Diamond, Diamond Rio. Rio. Uh, hmm. What is the band name? I there is a Rio, but I okay. don't think it's Diamond Rio. Rio de Janeiro. Is mm. that food? No, that's a place. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the wine. <laughs> so yes. this is a, a Diamond Rio. Is that... Is that the kind of wine or is that the name of the wine or? Mm -hmm. Good question. So the diamond grape is in this wine. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually named after um, the owner's son, Quinn Rio, oh. Diamond Rio. So cute. That mm -hmm. is very neat. Now, mm -hmm. I guess that brings up another question. Do you name all of your wines a special name or is it the, the origin of the grape or? Oh. That's a, that is a good question. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a variety. Uh, obviously our Chardonnay is, that is the grape, the yeah. Cabernet, that's the grape. Now the Diamond Rio is made with a diamond grape, but we just like to give it a more of a story. Right. Um, each wine has a story behind it, how it came up with its name, uh, how 
how long it may have taken to grow here on property. Okay. Everyone has a story associated with it. Um, that's cool. what led to the Diamond Rio mm -hmm. um, after the sun. Right. And then we also have a, there is a wine named after their daughter too. So we're gonna actually try that too. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. let's try this. And, and can you explain the difference? Is there a semi-dry and a semi-sweet? Or are they um, kind of, is that kind of the same thing? It kind of is an overlapping. Okay. Uh, so it goes dry to a semi or off dry, oh. all the same, and then sweet. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And well. then there's a sparkling segment in there uh, as well. And then it just makes you sparkle after you drink Correct. it. Correct. All right. All right. Danelle, tell me what you taste in this wine. Ooh, I like that. All right, I got it. I know what I'm tasting. All right, then I'll try. Okay. I'll see. I'll see if we can get the same answer. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, that's so yummy. It is. It's very. like a dessert in a glass. It is. It's very sweet. It, it definitely, if you're craving something sweet, yes, mm -hmm. this would be a good option. Absolutely. Can wine be dessert? Yes, there is dessert wine. Mm -hmm. It is meant to be after your meal. Um, instead of reaching for a piece of cake or a cookie, you're gonna have a nice little glass of wine. Oh, what if you did both? Or you could do both. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Double the sweetness. This is very good. So I'm tasting grapes. Yeah, very, mm -hmm. very grapey grapes. Absolutely. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Delicious, right? Yes, very mm -hmm. good. Ooh, I don't know. That's that's. They're all good, but that might be my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. It good. is very good. That is very tasty, and it's colder. Should yes. should that be a colder yeah. wine? A wine. That, that is a good question. So the first one we tried was the Chardonnay, served chilled. The Cabernet that we tried would be served room temperature. Okay. Um, the Diamond Rio would be meant to be served chilled. Mm -hmm. or cold, whichever, it's the same thing. Okay. Uh, you can put this in a nice bucket. You can put ice cubes in it if you want. Okay. If you really want that extra <laughs> extra crisp flavor, absolutely. You okay. Can put, you can put ice cubes in there. Okay. Yes. All right. I like this. This is, this good. is uh, good. a very popular summer lawn drinking wine. I could definitely see having a bottle of that out there with their entertainment. You yes. guys have tons of entertainment for the summer. Yes. So it's a great place to come just for the evening and hang out. Mm -hmm. um, such a fun activity to do outdoors, right? Absolutely. You know? There's plenty of lawn space, the social distance, to be outside, to enjoy your fresh air. You can bring your dog, you can bring your kids. We're very family friendly. Ooh, nice. um, and you can meet up with your neighbors and just hang out and listen yeah. to music um, and enjoy your afternoon or evening. And we, can you bring your own chair if you wanted to? Absolutely. Definitely would recommend put it, packing the chair, the picnic mm -hmm. blanket in your car uh, to enjoy all of the green space that we have here. Yeah. Very nice. But it's a beautiful, beautiful landscape. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, so yeah. Diamond Rio was quite good. Yes. Very, 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 yeah. very sweet wine. Um, and it most resembles a Moscato, which I'm sure you both have mm -hmm. had in your lifetime. Yes. That was my very first wine I ever tasted. Mm -hmm. And I wow. fell in love. I yes. wanted Moscato all the time. Mm -hmm. well, now you can have Diamond Rio. <laughs> now Diamond yes. Rio. I'm going to yes. take some home. Exactly. All right. And our last wine, it is a red wine, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll be a red wine. Um, and this is one of our more popular ones. So. I'm going to put a little splash in here for you. And I mentioned that there is a wine named after the owner's daughter. Yes. That would be what we're trying now. Okay. This is called Sweet Finley. Sweet Finley. Now this is a blend of two different wines. All of the other ones have been a blend of one or two. This one is a full 50-50. 50% one, 50% oh, the other. Oh, okay. It's so this is like, sweet. is this special to you guys? Um, it is. Yes, I would say. Um, okay. Most popular wine by far. Okay. Go ahead. You go for it. Mm. <laughs> it makes you giggle. I'm giggling now. That is very good. Jackie, what are you tasting in there? Oh my I mean, goodness. It smells sweetly. You can yeah. smell that mm -hmm. it is a sweeter wine. Mm hmm. Mmm. It reminds me of grape bubblegum. Like, 
the grapest of grapes. Yes. It yes. is very grapey. Yeah. You're both on to something. So you're headed in the right direction. Well, that's good. Grapes and wine. <laughs> Here we go again. We are just. You're killing man. it. Yeah. We are. I'm the giving most up my day job. <laughs> tasters you've ever had. Yes. Yes. So this up. one is, like I said, our most popular wine. It is, uh, you both mentioned having a really rich grape flavor. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that would be the Concord grape. Ah. Everyone thinks of Welcher's grape juice. Right. It's very Concord yeah. forward. Yes. That is exactly what you're tasting. With a little bit of a zing Yes. To it. So that's the <laughs> so other don't grape. don't give that, that to your kids. <laughs> right. Nope. That has very the nice. Niagara grape. So okay. I mentioned that it's a 50-50 blend. It's a Concord and a Niagara mix. Oh, very mm -hmm. good. Both very good wines. Both are, very good. These are delicious wines that we had. Now, I, I mm -hmm. do notice that there's a little bit more than just wine bottles I sitting know. here. Yes. What are these other things yes. that are sitting so there? So I mentioned the very, very versatile wine in a can. Yes. So I brought those for you to try too. Woo. And I brought what? our newest cider that we have called Violet. Okay. It is just released for spring. Um, it is also in a can. Um, very delicious. And this, um, actually, you'll be able to find at the filling station if you ah. go in there for, for lunch or dinner. You can pair it with our Violet Cider. Nice. Mm -hmm. So the canned wines and yes. canned cider. Yes. Can you can you drink them warm? Can you drink them cold? Should it, how should? Yeah. So they both um, recommend to be chilled. Okay. Um, the the one that we were going to try is called the Blanc de Blanc. Okay. Um, it is a dry Chardonnay. Okay. It has a little sparkle to it. Uh, and you know what? This makes a delicious mimosa in the morning. If you have brunch at your house, you just pop the top, put a little splash of orange juice in there, or you can not oh. put the orange juice in. Yeah. No one is judging. <laughs> and you don't have brunch, yes. right? You could just you don't even pop have to the top. Yes, Maybe exactly. just a slice of orange. Yes. So we're going to try this one. Okay. Um, and this actually has two and a half glasses per can. Oh. So this is also a nice if you're watching TV or you just want to try a little glass of wine at night yeah. and you don't want to be fully committed to a bottle. The can is a nice option because you don't have to. So if I open the can yes. and then I put it back in the fridge, yes. will it go flat? No. Or, okay. I would say use within, within time. We got 24 hours. Yeah. So if you're going to yeah. have a glass tonight, <laughs> odds are you're going to have a glass tomorrow. Probably should have one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you're going to finish the whole can in so one So do I still swirl this one? Yes, you can okay. still do all of those. Swirl. Yes. And this one just fits in a koozie versus ah, taking a wine glass. Yes. Ooh, I to like the, the I like the 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 fizz. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. This is this mm. is nice. I love carbonated drinks. Okay. Yes. So this, this is, is to kill that carbonation uh -huh. and that wine craving. <laughs> yes, all, <laughs> right? all put together. A two for one mm -hmm. in a can. In a convenient That can. I can put in my pouch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, I There's a lot of people that come in and get this for boating in the summertime. Yeah. I'm guilty of taking this kayaking. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it works perfect. You don't have right. to worry about a corkscrew or glass. That, I mean, that is well when we go um, water skiing this summer we're coming back to Bellaterra. yes there you go we're putting some on you our get boat. your cans in your mm -hmm. fanny pack listen <laughs> put them in a, the reason i say fanny pack is because i want you to water ski with your fanny pack on and then just pop it open while you're skiing at the same time i could time. be like the next uh poster for Bell <laughs> yeah yes. water skis exactly <laughs> Okay, well that was delicious. Blanc, blanc to blanc. Blanc to blanc. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so the last one we have is the Violet Cider okay. that we talked about. So this one's new. We have seasonal cider beverages that come out every quarter. Um, and then we have ones that run all year round. Okay. So this one is our Violet, or Violet, whatever you'd like Ooh, to call it. If you want to be know, cancer, right? Violet. <laughs> What makes this a cider? So, um, this cider is made differently than our wine. Okay. Um, this one actually goes in a stainless steel bright tank mm. um, to get carbonated. It is sweetened with sugar, just like most of our sweet wine is. Um, but it does not take as long to ferment um, or okay. uh, get its natural flavors. So now, it won't take nearly as long as it does to make wine to make cider. Is is when I think when I hear cider, I automatically think of apple cider. Is that mm -hmm. true? There's, 
There is apple in here. Yes. You mm -hmm. can taste. I can taste okay. the apple. All of our ciders do have uh, apple. Uh, so you will pick up those. This okay. one has an additional um, berry flavor. Oh, this is scrumptious. This is this to me. This reminds me of Christmas. Mm. Mm. Like, uh, like mm -hmm. this is something I'd sit on the couch with by a fire and. Yes. Oh, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. This is very good. This is a um, resident favorite around here. Mm -hmm. um, whenever we ran out last year, everyone was really anticipating when it was coming back. Yeah. So we made uh, double delicious. the amount that we made last year. So hopefully yes. we won't run out anytime yeah. soon. I don't know. I, th I think I might want to take one of each home mm -hmm. for different times of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you could indeed. So. Say I wanted to come here and I yes. wanted to purchase some wines. What are your hours of operation? Great question. So we are open seven days a week. Um, like I mentioned before, we have entertainment Wednesday through Sunday. Well, we're open seven days, so you can come in anytime. Uh, we open 11 a.m. and then our closing times vary. Okay. Uh, we close later on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and we do different types of entertainment. Uh, we have trivia night, we have uh, live bands, um, we do karaoke, we have paint and sips every month. Did I um, see a calendar that said open mic night? Yes. Is yes. that like, you wanna sing, you wanna... Yeah, you can play an instrument, you can come and sing, you can do whatever you'd like. Um, it's not like America's Got Talent, okay. so there's, okay. no sign okay. there's no one here to, to say if you're going to Hollywood <laughs> or not. However, it is a fun time for a lot of local artists that okay. haven't been able to play it recently yeah. um, to just practice again oh, that's such a and great to get idea. together. Um, so we offer a bistro special on Wednesdays, okay. and then we have different entertainment, um, paint and sip, open mic, uh, and trivia. So we offer different things every month. Nice. And uh, on weekends, we are offering through winter different activities to get you and your spouse or your family out of the house. Mm -hmm. um, one of our upcoming ones is a Galentine's Day. Ooh, so you can come nice. and hang out with your girlfriends. Ooh, and we'll know friends. what we're talking about. Yes. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're doing a Galentine's Day. Nice. And then for Valentine's Day, we're having our sweetheart dinner here again. Oh, yay. So it'll be just like a restaurant. We'll have this whole room romantically lit. We have a five course dinner planned. Five um, course? With Ooh, different, what a deal. Yes. Different, um, different entrees, appetizers, and desserts. And then uh, we'll recommend a wine that pairs well with Ooh, all of them. Ooh, I nice. like that. So say I forget everything you just told me. <laughs> Absolutely. How do I, or where do I go yeah. to find all this information? Great, so the power of the internet. So, what? yes, so if you like our Facebook page, okay. Bellaterra Vineyards, you'll see everything that we have going on, our entertainment calendar. Uh, if you go onto our website, bellaterravineyards.com, okay. and look at all of what we're doing with COVID-19, making sure we're yep. cleanly, social distant, all of the precautions we're taking is up to date. You can actually see how to make a table reservation. Okay. Uh, and then if you have a big group coming, it will just tell you some things to, to watch out for if you want to pre-order food okay. to have whenever you're here. All of those things are all on our website. Wow. Amazing. You guys have been very creative through this whole thing. I mean, some of the stuff that you're doing is just really great to keep everybody safe and that you're still open. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting to yeah. have this right here in our backyard of Mount Absolutely. Pleasant. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Amazing. Yes. Can I just ask this one last question? Sure. Did we pass all the challenges? I believe that you did. So you earned wow. the gold star for Ready? the day. Yay! <laughs> woo woo! Thank you so much for sharing. We had a great teacher. Right? Thanks. You shared all kinds of, of incredible information with us. Yes. How to taste wine. Remember, pinky out is important. No holding. No holding mm -hmm. like this. Nope. This makes things hot. Mm -hmm. yep. You can put ice in it, but yeah. Ice bucket is, is Ice bucket is recommended. Preferred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You swirl. Yes. You sniff, not sniff. I guess you could sniff. <laughs> but sniff. maybe more mm -hmm. like smell from, smell. from, smell. from Top this to the bottom. To this way. Mm -hmm. And then you sip. 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 Mm -hmm. And then let it on your palate and swallow. Swallow. And savor. Mm -hmm. And savor. And savor. And, savor. and, savor and, and then swallow. repeat. Right. Yes. Continue to repeat. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Heather, for this amazing challenge. Well, thank you for both for coming yes. in. Absolutely. We can't wait to come and enjoy our time. Absolutely. Thank you again. Thank you. Bellatar Vineyards is just a beautiful place to come to. They have all kinds of wines. They have 
uh, beer, they have mixed drinks, they have cocktails. It's not just a winery, it's a place to hang out, to have fun with your family, with your friends. The wine tasting was amazing. It was, and you know, it's so great, Jackie, to have this, this venue right here in our backyard of Mount Pleasant. Um, Bellaterra Vineyards, they, they service their products to many of the businesses in Mount Pleasant as well as the business district and we were just so excited to have them here with all their entertainment yes. and all that they can offer our community. Right, so if you forget how, um, when to come or any of the entertainment, guess where you can check? Facebook? Facebook? Instagram? Internet, in, in all kinds of places. So They are all over, so guys. Check them out. This is the place to be. Right, check them out. Come enjoy your time. I'm Jackie Stokes. I'm Danelle Sanner. And this is Challenge Accepted.